In this video, we explore Molasses Reef in Key Largo, Florida. This is one of the most popular dive and snorkel sites in the Keys, but it's still home to some of the most beautiful tropical fish in Florida. On this trip, we come across two of the most tastiest species on the reef. So let's have a look. All right, let's get off the boat here and get into the water. And right off the bat here, we see a lone Bermuda chub. He's up near the surface looking for some food. These are very friendly towards divers. And here's a large school of Sergeant Major fish. These are very beautiful fish, often kept in aquariums. We're dropping down deep to about 10 feet now. We can see there's larger coral heads down here. Here's a group of gray snapper, sometimes called mangrove snapper. These look like they're juveniles, but they're hanging out on the reef here looking for food. Now we're getting closer to the old light tower here. And under this old light tower, it's very shallow. You can see there's a lot of birds and seagulls living up on this tower. But let's go under these pilings and have a look. You can see these pilings here. There's a lot of coral growing over it, and this makes a great hiding spot for some beautiful tropical fish. They're hiding in here to get away from the ocean predators. We need to be careful swimming around these pilings. There's a lot of sharp coral growth, but you can see all these beautiful blue tang fish under here, and it looks like there's two different species of blue tang. There's some dark blue ones, and there's some lighter blue ones with some yellow tails. So I'm not sure what those are called, but those are really beautiful, beautiful fish. I can see some angel fish in the back here as well. All right, so let's get out from under this old light tower here and get to the deeper part of the reef. All right, and look under here. We got a big group of lobsters under here. These are spiny lobsters. These lobsters are so tasty. Uh, this is actually a protected sanctuary, so we can't actually harvest these lobsters. But if this was in season and this wasn't a protected sanctuary, those lobsters would be in my net. They are so tasty. Look at this one out. He's out here walking all by himself. That's very unusual for them to be out in the open walking like that. But you can see all the spines all over them. That's why they're called spiny lobsters. All right, so we're swimming along here in the deep part of the reef. You can see all the beautiful coral heads here, soft corals, sea fans, even a brain coral there. Very, very healthy growth on this reef. And oh, look at this, hiding behind the sea fan here is a hog snapper, um, sometimes called a hogfish. These are also one of the most tastiest fish on here on the reef. Um, when you can spear them, they're, they're very good tasting. And here's another group of these juvenile gray snappers here. And here's some more of these, uh, I'm not sure what those yellow fish are in the back, but they're pretty and they're really in here thick. All right, so let's get away from this deeper part of the reef. Let's head back to the boat. And you can see the boat's tied up here in a mooring ball. Oh, and look at all these Bermuda chubs are now swarming around the boat. A lot of people feed these fish off the boat, so they become very, very friendly towards boats and they wanna come up and see if they can get some food. They're really cool. Hey, thanks for exploring the reef with me today. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel for more great ocean exploration content. And while you're here, please check out some of my other videos. Thanks and have a great day.